not a good start when they say you have river views, city views and garden views from your terrace in the bedroom. I know it's not going to happen on the sixth floor. You don't get any views on the sixth floor. Oh, what we see here for $42, this is what you get per night. They've got the stuff that most hotels have. And there's a hot plate here. But I don't like it. I don't like the look of that. Must have put some plumbing in at the last moment, so that ain't good. And even the painting isn't very good. So let's have a look at the bathroom. So there's no petition. Toilet, wash hand basin, hair dryer, and the shower. Not very impressive. Wash hand basin and the hair dryer. And just one open area for the shower. So they've got some drawers and tables here. I don't know if there's anything in the drawers. No, they're empty. There's a table and chair for two people. And a refrigerator. <laughs> look at the TV. Well, the cable's coming down. Not very impressive. Got some storage area. And a king size bed. Emergency phone. And the air conditioner's working really cold. And off, who we got over here? Arnold, Emily and Sarah. Now <laughs> we'll come and see the river views, the city views and the garden views from the balcony. I've lived in Cambodia and Phnom Penh for 19 years and I know the sixth floor you see nothing. No river views. That's the Sok Hotel. That is actually on the Mekong River. But you can't see the river from this place. They've got a restaurant and a sky bar on the 13th floor. So we'll go up and see what we can see from the 13th floor. And they do have a full selection of cooking equipment, cutlery, frying pan, box pans, and plates, bowls, sauces to go with the kitchen. So it's fully equipped kitchen. And you get the same kind of everything else and a hot plate to do your cooking. So if you didn't want to eat out and you buy from the markets, it'll work out a little bit cheaper. The room was supposed to have city views, river views, garden views. But you can got the river views from up here. So that's Riverside just down there.
So we go up to the swimming pool, which is on the 14th floor. Can have a look at that. This is the 13th floor and could also be called Friday the 13th. I don't know what to use it for. And we're just going to go up on the, the 14th floor swimming pool. But they've got male and female toilets here plus a washing area. So this will staircase takes you up from the 14th floor. From the pool, got the city views, soccer hotel. Nice pool. construction everywhere. There's the Mekon River over there. That's the peak in the front of the video, the peak apartment complex. Soccer Hotel. More construction everywhere. Apartments and hotels. Shopping centres. Well this is street 110 and the hotel and apartments are here and so we'll go and explore around this area here but I'm not very happy staying here a lot of things are wrong in this place Golden Vine Hostess bar and another one next door. So there's very few around this area, very few. Now I'll go and do a uh, street 104. This is the bridge going across from street 108 to street 106 and what non park is down the end down there. So that's what non park. Down the end. You can pick up solos from there at night time, but I advise you not to go there at night time. Strictly off limits at night time, but in the daytime, okay. But don't go to Watnon Park after dark. Strictly off limits to all tourists. Especially those greenskins have never been here before. A 
This is Street 104, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, running off Riverside. It's the shortest street containing hostess and girly bars in Cambodia. And if you want to work it out as girls per square meter, more females per square meter than any other street in Cambodia. It's also the shortest street and 95% are hostess and girly bars in it. So this is Street 104, so we'll do a walk down it and we'll go and see the bunny bar down the end, my friend. So if you're into music, live, there's Oscar's bar. And we're on the corner of Street 13 and just over there is the Cambodian post office, central post office. So Street 13 is really small and it starts off with Oscars and we'll walk down and have a look. I don't want to do any close-ups of the girls because I'm not a fly-in fly-out tourist and I live here and so I don't want to upset the females at work here but as I said, it's the shortest street in Phnom Penh and Cambodia for girly bars and hostess bars. So right at the very end where those cars are crossing, that's Riverside. So you can see how, how short the street is and it's full of hostess bars Girly bars, you can see them sitting on the sidewalk here. And right at the very end is Riverside. And just to the right, past Riverside, is the night markets. So we go to the bunny bar and see, because we've just come to the end. So that's the bunny bar and the marine and Nana bar. So we go and talk to my friend John. Australian food. They make them on the premises at the bunny bar. Australian pies. So if you like the old New Zealand, Australian, British pies, come to the bunny bar in Street 104. <laughs> and I've ordered one. Very nice, just like in a, back in Australia and New Zealand or UK. A real true pie. Only at the, the Bunny Bar in Street 104. At the Bunny Bar in Street 104, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Owned by Australian guy, John Carr, and his manager, Shane Robbins from Britain, UK. Been here 23 years. So he knows everything you want to know about Phnom Penh and Cambodia. Street 104 is just down there. Street 106 takes you to the railway station. That's the night markets here. Open every night, seven days a week from 
6 p.m. till about 11 p.m. And the other street over there is Street 106. Sorry, let's repeat that. Street 104, 106, 108, and the next street down is where I'm staying on Riverside is Street 110, 110, Street 110. So this is Riverside, and if you want a nighttime cruise, you come here right opposite the night markets and book your Riverside cruise. Best time is 5 p.m. at night for $5, including a free beer. 5 p.m. at night, you see the sunset on the Mekon River, and you come back at night. So this is Riverside and Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Now we're going back to our, or my hotel, on Street 110, next street down. So on Riverside, they have these shade umbrellas, protected from the midday sun, but underneath, no seating. So you can't sit under the shade, just stand under the shade, you can't sit. On Riverside, advertising. So this is the main street running through Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And this is street 1010, 110. And the night markets are just down there. Street 108, 106 and 104. So we'll go back to the hotel. Hotel 1010 and Street 1010. Got some hostess bars and street. 110. And you got Ben's Pub, which is a hostess bar. Got a $3 massage place. Got the O'Hare Bar. The DJ's Bar and Hostess Bar in Street 110. It's a hard life, peddling tourists around on these all day long. Well, that's the tour of the three streets, 110, 106, 108 and 104. So I'll add some photos and some videos to this end of this video here. Um, I'll put a warning sign up because some of them are adult only content. So this is Mystery Cambodia signing off from Residency 110 Hotel and Apartments, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And today is the 7th of the 4th, 2023. And I'll leave all my comments down below and a WhatsApp and telegram miss number to send me a personal message or send me a message on WhatsApp or YouTube and I'll get right back to you. So this is Mystery Cambodia signing off from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.
got bigger footage, just then. Move. 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 Move.